This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2005 Ford F-350 crew cab, dual rear wheel, uh, long bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel, it's four wheel drive, it's a Lariat, which is leather, and it's the FX4 off-road suspension package. This truck was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Las Vegas, Nevada. It uh, is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Uh, basically, the attorneys for the insurance company do not want the insurance company to be liable for anything in the future. So they sell it on a salvage title. That's their way of divorcing the truck. That way, when they sell it to us and you get in it and something happens to you, you can't go after the people with more money, which is the insurance company, not Wheel Kinetics. So a salvage title is their divorce decree from the truck has nothing to do with the truck itself. Um, anyway, uh, we bring him here, we do an inspection, my guys to hand me this. Uh, great running and driving truck. Blah, blah, blah. What do we have to do to it? Uh, we had to fix uh, the ignition, driver door cylinder, oh, and the passenger door cylinder, I just found out. Um, both side mirrors are new. Uh, windshield is new. Passenger tail light and both batteries. Uh, I'm gonna walk around this truck. I'll point at stuff I see cosmetically. It's got a few dings and stuff. There's a little bit of damage around the uh, passenger door handle um, from them trying to pry their way in. A um, few dings and dents, but uh, nothing major. Uh, once I get all the way around this truck, I'll start it. Uh, we'll go under the hood. I'll look for the Ford stamps on the fenders and on the core support to show that they're the original parts. Um, and if they're not there, then they're not the original parts. Um, then I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book, I'll show you the Carfax, I'll show you the title from the insurance company. Um, everything that we know, you will know. This is probably the most major ding on the truck. It's got a little ding on the fender. A uh, little bit of touch up here on, on a scrape right there, see that? Um, the point of these videos isn't to sell the truck. If I was trying to sell the truck, I wouldn't make such a big deal of stuff like this. Like this is a brand new handle and lock cylinder. And obviously they tried to pry their way in uh, to the truck. So you got that, okay? So if you're looking for a show truck, you could probably make this thing look great for a thousand bucks or so, something like that cosmetically. But I don't really see the point of doing that. Um, I think it'd be better just to drive it and pull stuff with it and that'll be that, okay? Um, but anyway, like I said, the, the whole point of these videos and our ads is to make sure that people know what they're buying and the right person buys the truck. So there's no drama, there's no surprises, there's no, he didn't tell me that or whatever. There's a little line of touch up paint I can see right there and right there. So I'm gonna go out of my way to make sure that if there's something wrong, you know about it, okay? Front tires look great. The rear tires look like they could be replaced. Little tiny ding right around here on the around the driver, uh, around the uh, gas door. There's a little ding right there. And I saw one more right there. All right, let me fire this guy up. 158,446 miles. All right, let's look for those Ford stamps. There it is right there. So this is an original fender. The battery is new. There's a Ford uh, stamp on the core support. Ford stamp there. And there should be another one there. one right there on the hood. So everything on the front end of this truck is original, which is a good thing. I see no blow by at all. That's excellent. So you see this? Pry right there, just so you know. And 
little bit on this side too. Uh, like I said, my job here is not to tell you what you want to hear, it's to show you and tell you what's going on, okay? Here's the Kelly Blue Book for a Lariat uh, Long Bed uh, Super Duty Crew Cab, 158,433 miles. Typical listing price would be 16.1, with a range of 13.1 to 17.1. Obviously not going to be that expensive just because of the title, but uh, here's the uh, Carfax itself. There's the VIN. They blend the VIN and the, uh, the, the Carfax history and the Kelly Blue Book together now. Uh, Carfax does. They come up with a Carfax history-based retail value of 13130 Salvage brand, that's due to theft. Damage notation is obviously the theft damage that we've repaired. Okay. Here's the Carfax itself. Salvage title theft. Damage reported. I've already told you about that. I did this Carfax literally an hour ago, uh, 10 10 of, uh, of 19. So this thing was born, born in Illinois, Belleville, Illinois. And then it was in Kokomo, Indiana. Being taken good care of there, it looks like. Actually, it looks like it was taken really good care of. People ask me why I don't uh, just put a link the car faxes in instead of doing this video because they want even more money we pay them a thousand dollars a month as it is for the car faxes but they want to want us to pay them more for each car fax it's ridiculous so we're not doing it all right it ends up in nevada fallon nevada up above with service 10 12 of 18 I'm stolen about a month later on 11 19 stolen recovered 12 23 a couple days before christmas Damage to front, left front, yeah, we all know about that. The right front, we know about that. I have no idea what that is. Sometimes I just think they just throw things in there. I have no idea what that's about. Here's the uh, Nevada title. There's the VIN. It was issued to uh, USAA Insurance, uh, 827 of 19, um, which is good. Military guys take care of their stuff. Wheel Kinetics bought it on uh, 95 of 19 with 158,443 miles, okay? Seat back, seat forward, seat up, and down, tilt up, and down, front up, and down, keep the seat on and off. You always wanna look at the bottom of the doors, for rust, I don't see any there. Window. Nothing there. I'm told the back glass doesn't work this way and that way totally not worth fixing why well it's about six hours of labor back breaking labor taking the seat out taking the moldings off the back window it's about four or five hundred dollars in parts and i've never understood the whole point of the whole thing anyway um camper shells went out in the 70s so i didn't really i've never understood that i still don't just another thing to break them and parking sensors and tire monitors are stupid. There's that. Window. There's window. Window. Let's see. Mirror. These are new mirrors, so obviously they're going to work fast, and they do. Other side. Out. In. Up. And down. Door locks. Okay, heated seat on, off, seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down, tilt up, and down, tilt up, down. Oh, let's see, let's hop in here. Ugh.
just did. Steering controls, volume up, volume down, change the station. Alright, let's do it manually. Alright, six disc changer. Fan up and down manually. Now let's do it this way. Fan down, fan up off the steering controls, temperature up and down. It's really nice in here too. Like I said, in a, I can hear it running so the cable's off. I mean, it, 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 you, you could probably put it back on the, on the deal and make it work, but totally not worth the effort. Tow haul on and off. Nothing there. Boom. There we go. Let's see. Let's do a uh, systems check. Engine temp okay. Transmission temp okay. Oil pressure okay, brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, air filter okay, 114 miles to empty, system check complete. All right, we put it in neutral. Let's go to four low. Now we're in four low. It's kind of hard to see that. See that? There you go. There we go. There you go. Now you can see a lot of glare there. Low range 4x4, four four, right? Put it in the drive. Get this gate open in here. And reverse. That's in 4 low, right? In neutral. Go to 4 high. Low range goes away. And now we're in 4 high drive and reverse perfect all right neutral now we'll go back to two-wheel drive there we go all right okay if you uh come to tucson to drive this home obviously you have to have plates and obviously you have to have insurance because it's on a salvage title you can get neither um so we have to take it to the cops get what's called a level three inspection done once the cops have done that, we can take the inspection and the salvage title we currently have and get what's called a uh, uh, restored salvage title. At that point, we can issue you a uh, uh, plate to drive home with and you can call your insurance guy. A lot of traffic today. Um, that is $200 for us to do it for you before you get here. And it's mandatory if you're gonna drive home, okay? Then we have a $250 dock fee and we have taxes. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is plus our city of 2.6%. So if you come here, you'll pay your state rate, tax rate, plus our city of 2.6, a $250 dock fee, and 200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Unless you want to uh, have us restore the title first. Uh, you'll let us know when you buy the vehicle if you want us to do that. That'll add $200 to the deal, and we will um, get that done for you, okay? Um, if you do pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or company's name and address, uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, school zone coming up here. So, uh, you'll have the truck shipped to you. We'll put the title in the mail. I'm sure the title almost always gets there before the truck. Once the truck shows up by your shipper, you'll take the title that you already got from the mail and go get plates. It's quite simple, all right? Um, deposit, once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in, all right? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Last part of every video, I say this on every single video I've ever done, uh, unless they have factory warranty, then I don't have to, all right? But uh, we, uh, we don't have salesmen, so we don't have to pay them. That's not part of our pricing. We don't have a uh, awesome zip code like they do at the auto mall right over there. We also don't have a latte machine and a lounge and an attendant like they have at the auto mall. Um, so you're not paying for that. Um, they also know over there at the auto mall that if this truck was sold by them to you, that uh, you know if something broke, you'd want it fixed. So they add money for that. So you're paying for lattes, 
uh, zip code, salesman, and future repairs every time you go to the auto mall. We're not fixing your truck regardless of when it breaks. There's not a single vehicle we're driving by right now that's not going to break, okay? Every one of these. The way we keep our prices down is by not charging you for any of those uh, things they have at the mall and not fixing your truck when it's yours, all right? Um, we give you this video, we give you the Carfax, we tell you everything that we know that's right, that, that's wrong actually, and right, but really <laughs> what's wrong. Um, from the dings and dents to the mechanical, we will tell you, all right? So you can make an informed decision. We're not worried about selling this truck like they are at a brick and mortar. At a brick and mortar store, one person a day, you know, would be a miracle to see our, their, to sit in this vehicle at a, at a brick and mortar. Uh, our place will see 800 to 1200 people a day online see this truck. So uh, someone's gonna be very happy with it, with its dings and nicks and whatever's wrong. And those are the people that need to buy this truck. If it's not you, stay away because we don't have a single truck for you that if you need to, you know, a check for a window motor or radio decides to break or you know, even needs an injector or something. It's not for us, we, we aren't doing that. It's your truck the second you're the owner, okay? That being said, I've driven lots of these trucks thousands of 6.0s. Uh, first of all, it has a really nice ride for a 6.0 Dually. Usually they're real stiff and bouncy. This one's not. Um, this one's got a really nice ride and uh, runs and shifts and blows ice cold air and you know, uh, if you want to pull something and you don't want to pay, you know, 60 grand like you do for just an entry level XL Dually at the, at the new car dealership, uh, this would be what you do. You buy this. You save money because of the title and all the other stuff I explained, all right? Um, I think that's about it. I'm gonna leave this out front for my brother to take photos of. Um, we are packed. You can take advantage of our full yard. See our yard right here? We got double parked. And there's a lot of trucks in here right now. And cars, a few cars now. Buying for teenagers now that I got teenagers in school, their parents want cars for their kids. So I've been buying those too. Anyway. Uh, really nice truck. Thank you for your time.